Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome to the Great Empire. Sorry if you can't hear the, uh, map music. I've had to make various adjustments to the sound to be heard, but my internal mic is working. So, hammer time! Does this mean I'll get a free hammer? It does. Yes! Best setup. Ha! Ah. Oh, I can't float while I've got hammers, that's right. Alright, so now I'm just going to wander around this loop. And, Icy Cave of Water. I like level names that tell you exactly what to expect. For example, I have the shoe that doesn't work anymore. Yeah, I'm not going down in there because I've already got the best of all possible power up here. And if I go down there, I'll have to abandon the shoe. Well, I have to abandon the shoe anyway. Because shoe... Oh, shoe can jump underwater, just not high enough to escape. Oh man, th this hole right here reads reads almost like I'm hiding a secret. Don't you want to come and see? Except I'm uh, about 40% certain that there's no secret there. <laughs> So, you know, I'm not going to risk dying and losing my awesome hammer power, especially after I had to give up my shoe in order to test and see if there's a secret there. Oh, wow, this was a short level. Hey, Toad, what is up? What a short cave! I agree! Er, get... That was a short cave. But you know, it's better that a level be too short than be too long. Lemmy's Castle of Ice? Yemmy's Castle of Ice? One Emmy's Castle of Ice? Yeah, I think that's a one! Oh no! Oh no! I can't wrap around. Which means I have to do a really weird jump. Oh, almost, but not quite made it. Right, right, right. That. Yeah. Alright. Fire those cannons. What am I doing waiting? Okay. Okay. So. I am seeing a castle here. That is for sure. But I am not seeing any ice. Take this. Oh, I did. I don't know why I didn't expect to wind up in a completely different area. I expected to wind up at the other pipe in the same area. Ha! Okay. So. Alright, now I'll go down here and- whoops! Ah, oh, really? I was not ready for the reality of what I was about to experience. Okay, so what I think- what I think I meant to do is hop over that skeleton. Alright, so. Ah! Oh. Jumped too soon, I guess. Let's try that again. Hi, there we go. That is exactly what I wanted to happen. That is not what I wanted to have happen. I'm sorry. All right, let's try this again. I'll make this work eventually. Okay, okay. Now I will tanukify myself and smash these entities. Alright, so what am I doing? Now I have to wait for that bomb to explode before I can move on. Okay, so up, up, wait for the double firing and for that bomb to move out of the way, and then I will cast you backwards into the abyss from which I have recently escaped. Alright. And now I shall ascend to that place where I died before. Ha! Take that level design. Alright, that wolf is gone. Alright, so I thought I was going to just be running across gaps here, but 
my mind misled me because I hadn't paid sufficient attention to what was actually going on down here on my way- No! It didn't stop like I was expecting it to, so there was no way for me to make that jump because I wasn't ready for the way I was going to move. Okay, so... Power up. Power up. Yeah. Huh? Oh, you, you need momentum to make it up here. Delightful. Alright, you fire. And then I'll ascend. Alright, you two fire. And then I'll ascend some more. And then... Ha! Take that, explosive. Actually remembering my statue powers. Very important. Ha! Okay, I wasn't expecting there to be two dry bones right there. Okay, so, wait for that to go, and then, I, I love how this is set up so that it opens that block for you. On the other hand, if that, if you're not already powered up when you get here, and given the lack of power-ups on the stage so far, that's entirely possible, it's entirely possible for it to just send a mushroom into the abyss. Ooh, okay. Okay, now that I am on this thing. I can just do whatever. I uh, woo. Okay, okay. Darn it. I think I'm gonna have to take a hit from that ghost. Yeah. Unless I can lower it down some more. Woo! Okay. Okay. That was scary, but I made it through. Oh good! An actual midpoint. Oh, oh. This is where the ice dwells. Ah! One. Ha! Oh. Eh! Oh, that... That was really good. I am good at this. Ha! Ah. Nope! Okay. Okay. I lost track of the number of hits that I had delivered. Whew! Yay, I won! I wasn't expecting the exit orb to spawn right where I was, but I won! I've done it! Alright. Warp to Darkland. Here is Darkland. It exists. But now, now I shall go into space. Because I have already conquered the Great King. Yes. Ugh, my head's all stuffed up today. Special one, Classic Kingdom. Alright, so... Yeah, th this this has all the aesthetics of a classic uh, Mario Brothers level. Hiya! Even down... Ah! Whoa, I was not expecting that. Because I hadn't looked ahead at what I was about to do set out set out to do all right I don't think I have the momentum to accomplish this the way it's meant to be so yeah I don't think I would have made it if I hadn't had light power or at least float power can't enter the castles I am sad oh no that was entirely my fault all right so, a wraparound level. Oh, hey! Blocks! I can break them, but the only thing they could possibly contain is coins, if they even did have a reward. Alright, I can't remember what it was about the, uh, betterified version of the stage that made it so awkward and difficult to handle. But I like this version much better. It's so peaceful and soothing. Alright, so, hey you, prepare to die. That's right. Oop. Oh, hey. I shall ascend some more. Ha ha! Okay, the only reason to go up there was to dodge Goombas. And, I mean, that is a worthy reason to go up there. 
Oh no, it's a uh, castle place. And there's a hammer entity, but... Well, that did feel like Classic Mario Brothers, except, you know, I was able to beat it, so it felt better than Classic Mario Brothers. I don't think I've ever beaten the 1-4 castle in the original Super Mario Brothers, and I've definitely never beaten the World 8 castle. So, Forest Throwback, MB. So this, this star place is a throwback world. Got it. Alright, I'm gonna wait for that fireball to disappear some more, and then hiya! I love this song. Oh, hey! Power up! Bonk. Ugh. Go me! I am receiving multiple text messages. Alright, so... Bong, bong. I, I almost jumped onto a plant. If there had been a fire-breathing plant in there, as I had every indication to believe there would be, that would have killed me. My strange desire to hop into pipes. Okay, good. Now I can at least take a hit. I can't take a hint, but I can take a hit. Oh good, that ninja isn't going to... Well no, that ninja was never going to jump on my head. Now that ninja that's left behind here might jump on my head. Alright. Hey ninja! I'm gonna jump past you. <laughs> I love when platforms are set up like this so that ninjas can jump between them, even if I jump face first into a ninja. It's just so cool seeing ninjas just hop around like that. What's with those mushroom blocks in the background? Woo! That was close. Woo! Oh, I can defeat the Wiggler by spinning on them. Neat. Well, I performed poorly at that level, but not poorly enough to die. And that's all that matters to me. Alright, so. Special 3, Big Fish C, MB. Okay, so. Oh, hey. A spiky fish monster that I despise. And there's another one. Ah! Take that, you spiky fish monster of doom. Man, I remember the first time I was playing Super Mario World and got to the uh, secret area, vanilla secret whatever, from Vanilla Dome that had those, uh, that had dolphins and those awful spike monsters. I was terrible at it. I panicked when I, get in the wa when I got in the water, which prevented me from appropriately dealing with spike monsters. I mean, I had a cape. I could have just killed them by spinning my cape. Oh wow, I was not expecting the uh, shell to jump up like that. Alright. Take that, Spike Monster. You missed me. Yeah. Okay. I am still going across the top. Now, where is this music from? Oh, hey, Chaser Turtle. Ha <laughs> ha, take that, Chaser Turtle. Bonk. Into the ocean with you. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, wow, I didn't expect to destroy it. I just, just expected to bounce off. How long have I been playing Super Mario Brothers X for? Ha! And now I have fire. Power courses through me. Ha 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 ha! And I'm only halfway through the line. I'm tempted to just keep going on this screen. Oh, there's no secrets here. There are no secrets, only water. That makes me sad. Alright, off into the fight. Ah! Okay. Th this would be super stressful for me if I didn't have fire. 
to deal with my problems. Sorry, I'm building up to a sneeze. Ugh. Ugh. Almost quit. Ah. The sneeze made me shrink. Yes, I entirely blame the sneeze for that bout of shrinking there and losing my fire. And what's with these random tile high ropes? They're supposed to indicate something, I'm sure. Maybe, uh. Maybe stakes at the edge of the rope bridge to hold the bridge up? Alright, number four. Fire desert. I want to see an ice desert. Oh yeah, this level. It exists. Ha! Take that, you hunter, chaser, monstrosity. I like how this level outright gives you... Oh, my head's so stuffed today, I'm sorry. I like how this level outright gives you fireballs to work with. Like, it doesn't make you hit a block and hope that you're already powered up. It's just, hey, have a fire flower. You'll need it. Oh, wow. I, I am very good at this. Now I have to, you know, actually play the level. And who is it? And who's ever heard of such a thing, actually playing the level? Seriously. That sounds almost like a joke. Hey you, try actually playing the level. Oh. I, I was trying to hop on top of a turtle to bounce on top of that pipe to see what was inside. Instead of, you know, what actually happened, which was jumping face first into a turtle. Yeah, take that turtle. And those pipes don't apparently don't have anything in them, so they have to be there for something, right? They can't just be there for aesthetic purposes. I kind of like this take on the uh, moving screen thing, wherein uh, you're on a platform that's moving, so you can freely go back and forth along the platform. And, you know, depending on what's ahead, you can even go slightly ahead of the platform. But you're still bound to it, you know? And I also like the having a wall of stuff chase you auto-moving screen thing. Rather than, you know, actually having an automatically moving screen. Ah! Grr! Have at thee! The coin bounced you off. The coin bounced you off! Have at thee, foul beast. Okay. Again, that, that pipe there is suspicious to me because there's nothing inside. Oh, there's another one of those hunter chaser monsters. Whoa! Whoa, I, I, I am very surprised I didn't actually die there. Ha! Ugh. Go me. Go me. Alright, so if I leave behind Colt. Great dodging work there. So, anyway, if I leave behind coins, I can uh, use those to mess around with the chaser monsters. Ha! Ah, powered up! Taste fire! Yeah, take that, you fire-breathing plant monster. Have a taste of your own medicine. It burns, doesn't it? Oh, you're not a threat at all. Yeah, I mean, you don't even reach high enough to possibly threaten me. I am surprised that that worked. I don't know why I keep doing it if I keep being surprised that it works. But, I mean, I guess the thing is, it does in fact work. 
And that's why I keep doing it, even though it's a surprise when it works. The fact that it works encourages me. Yeah, what, what, what's, what's with these empty pipes? You! Tell me about these empty pipes. And that pipe over there is empty too, right here. Why? Why is it empty? What secrets does it contain? Oh, you're not a chaser. Neither are you. And this pipe here. I would love to, you know, try and hop in it, but by now, by the time I test it out, it'll be too late to get to the platform. I don't know why this just feels less unpleasant than an actual moving screen. It, it, in effect, it's pretty much the same thing. It just feels so much less unpleasant. Hurrah! Oh, so many fireballs are aiming at my head. Um, a power block exists. Okay. Oh, it's in order to get those coins there. I thought plants were immune to power blocks, and so I was confused by its presence, but the power block is to get these coins up here. But I'm too scared of losing my progress. I mean, look at how well I've been doing. Yeah. If I keep hopping, I'll throw off the aim of everything. So. Alright. Okay. Uh, you can very clearly see the uh, exit ball before you uh, have to jump off. The, pla the moving platform, so you can see that this is a thing you need to do. Alright, up next, Hammers and Tanuki Suit. I think this was the level that... Oh, never mind. This is a different level that I was about to talk about. Granted, I do enjoy this level, it's just I misremembered it. Haha! I love this part where, you know, they give you a hammer suit and you gotta work your way up through these hammer breakable blocks. I'm just concerned about the blocks above this because you get only one hammer suit here. And so if you get hit by the Goomba that's right there, you can't go up. This was how I discovered that this was even a thing. Like, it, I accidentally went, or not accidentally, I did, I didn't realize what was going on here and just, with the invisible blocks, because even though I had encountered invisible blocks before, I never knew that you, uh, could see them by going all tanuki. Until here, when I, one time use the tanuki suit to crush those blocks below me rather than try to hammer my way through. I didn't even know that you could use the tanuki suit to crush those blocks, I just happened to do so by coincidence. Special 6, Fire Flower Battle. You just gave me a tanuki suit and a hammer and you expect me to battle with fireflies. Be careful when shooting the fire flower, Mario. No, I'm not going to use that at all. Uh, there was just an entire level dedicated to giving me a tanuki suit and hammers. The order of levels here was not well thought out. I mean, this is the ice level to accompany World 6 being ice themed, but... Th this was not well thought out. And now for Special 7, the Lava Prize. Okay, so only Mario and Luigi can attempt this stage. I'm gonna slide! Whoa! Um, oh, okay. Okay. I keep mentioning this, I think, but when I was a kid, one of my friends insisted that Goombas were poison mushrooms. This made it difficult to talk about the poison mushrooms from Super Mario, uh, 
to Mario Brothers The Lost Levels because, well, oh no, oh no, oh phew, because, you know, he insisted that the Goombas were poison mushrooms, that the poison mushrooms I were ta was talking about weren't real because he had never played The Lost Levels. It did I get myself into a situation where I'm obligated to cast myself into a pit? I did. Well, you know what? Nuts to that. I'm cheating. A pippin and a pop. There we go. A pippin and a pop. And it is cool. I refuse to accept a situation where I'm obligated to cast myself into a pit. If you wanted me to die there, you, you should have just killed me outright, rather than giving me something that felt like a chance. Because that is frustrating. Being one block away from salvation. Oh well, wow, lots of lives here. Alright. Alright, so. Huh. I think I remember this puzzle. Alright. Alright. So. Fall, fall into the abyss with you. Hop, 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 hop. Okay. And now I will hit this switch for reasons, I guess? Okay, so my ultimate objective is to hit a red switch. Well, here's a green switch. It does things. Mysterious things with no name. Mysterious things that cannot be described. I mean, look at this indescribable path. And there we go, a simple uh, switch hunt. I like simple switch hunts. They encourage you to explore around, be aware of your surroundings, and yet, you know, if you die, you, there's not a ton of work to re- Whoa, look at that form. Ha! Ah! Oh, I was hoping you cast yourself into the abyss. Well, not the abyss, the flat fire. I would love to go up there and get those prizes, but, you know, I'm already armed with them. And now the final area, the final end. It's not just the normal end, it's the final end. You did it, Mario, thanks! Is Bowser really defeated? Cool. Yay! Yahoo! Hey, talk to me. Woot! You saved us. Hey, Peach. Thank you. You saved the Mushroom Kingdom once again. Here is your prize. Well, no, this episode is for little kids later. Okay! And here's how I get a uh, blue shoe. That's the ultimate reward. Well, join me next time as I play Mario's Mansion 2. <laughs>